So now in order to get the text from the user, I'm going to be using jQuery. So what I'm going to do here is that in my project, I'm going to create I'm going to create a script at the end. It's very important to create this at the end of the script. So at the end of the script, you need to say a script. And then at the end of the script here, script. And then inside that script, what you need to do is that you need to uh, create a function that's going to take the the uh, text from the user. Once the user types something, we will be able to get it after the user clicks on send. So here I'm going to create a function. I'm going to say function, and I'm going to name this function uh, get user response. And then this function is going to listen to uh, whenever the user clicks on this button, this function is going to be used to get the text after the user clicks on this button, whenever the user clicks on this button. So we need to make reference to the, the input, to this input, as well as this button. So uh, for this function first, for this function, I'm going to make reference to the uh, input. I'm going to say var, and then I'm going to say uh, user user uh, text and the user text user text is going to be equal to dollar sign and then text text input and the text input is is this input is this input is this input and in order to get the text from that input we need to call a function called val this function is going to get the value from that input Next, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to insert that text into the page. I'm going to insert it here in this box so that the user knows that they have sent the uh, message. So to do that, we need to say, we need to create a function called user uh, HTML. And this function, uh, uh, this uh, va variable is going to be equal to a paragraph. I'm going to say P, P, and I, I'm going to give it a class and I'm going to give it a class called user text. User text. And then in between here, I'm going to say user. And then I'm going to create a span here. I'm going to say span. Span. And then inside that span, inside that span, I'm going to insert the text. I'm going to say here plus plus and then here double quotes and then here I'm going to pass the user text I'm going to say user text that way that way whenever the user types something and sends something it's going to be displayed in the box immediately uh, next what I'm going to do is that I am going to remove the text from the input because once the user has sent a message we need to remove the text that the user has typed here. For example, if I say here hi, and if I click on send, we need to take that text and display it here in the box, and we need to remove the text from here. We need to keep this clean and remove it so that the user will be able to send a new message over and over and over again. So here I'm going to say, text input, and the text input dot value val is going to be nothing because the message has been sent. And uh, in order to insert this user uh, HTML code, in, in order to insert this message uh, into the box here, we need to use a function called append. So here I'm going to say, I'm going to make reference to the chat uh, bot, bot here. I'm going to say chat bot. Remember, this is an ID. The chatbot, which is this, this chatbot, this chatbot, which contains the messages. Whenever a message has been inserted, it will be inserted into the chatbot. So here I'm going to say chatbot and then dot append. And then what I'm going to append is that I'm going to append the user, user HTML code. User HTML. And the last thing that I'm going to do for now is that I'm going to make reference to this uh, button so that I listen 
for any clicks on it. So whenever the user clicks on it, I'm going to take the text from here and display it here. Display it in the box. 